Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we are taking a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. Today is Friday in the octave of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will come with you. We will also come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, here we have... Jesus appearing to the disciples up in Galilee. And uh, while they went up there to await Jesus' arrival, and they're there by the sea, of course, what does uh, Peter want to do? He says, I'm going to go fishing. That's his livelihood. And he thought, well, you know, I'm not sure what this is all about. I don't know what uh, having Jesus appear to us, you know, am I going to get fired from being an apostle because of the fact that I denied him? Uh, he didn't really know what was going to happen next. And so the default was to go back to his livelihood, to do what he knew how to do. And so those that were with him decided to join him in the boat. They fished all night. And in the morning, it was uh, still dawn, and so you couldn't see with great detail what was going on on the shore. But they knew that there was a man standing there, and, of course, then they had that exchange um, Have you caught anything? No, we haven't. And then this figure on the shore calls out to them to cast the net over on the right side of the boat, and you will find something. Well, they've been fishing all night. They had been doing, that's what they've been doing all night, is doing exactly what Jesus just told them to do. But they went ahead and did it again. And when they dropped the net over the right side of the boat, it filled with fish, and in fact, so much they could hardly even contain it. And it was at this point that John turns to Peter and says, it's the Lord. Well, at that point, Peter's response was so beautiful. He just tucked in his, his garment and into, into his uh, uh, belt, and he jumped into the sea, and he swam to Jesus. Now, they were only 100 yards away from shore, but that was still a bit of um, a distance. And so uh, there was some, some uh, swimming going on there. Well, the other disciples just went ahead and took the boat in with them with the fish. Jesus, I mean, Simon had completely forgotten. Peter had completely forgotten about the fish. He would completely forgotten about the boat. All he saw was Jesus. And so he swam toward him. And it was at this point that, of course, uh, they had uh, this beautiful third encounter with the Lord. 
One of the interesting things that's mentioned here is it's uh, in, in John's gospel. And of course, John was the one that said to him, it's the Lord. But he said that when Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish, that's kind of unique to have that large number. And uh, there are many different ways that that's been interpreted. One of the things that many people think is that um, that large number of fish, and very possibly they could have counted because this was such a miraculous um, catch of fish. But uh, there was in in those days uh, an understanding or a thought that of all of the fish in the sea, that there were probably 153 different varieties. And that was kind of the number that was used. So one of the things that this catch of fish is really symbolizing, and remember what Jesus said uh, to Simon Peter before when he called him? He says, you will catch men. You will be fishers of men. And so when you think about the totality of all of the fish species being represented. What we're seeing here is, again, Jesus reminding the disciples, and John in this encounter, as he records it, reminding us that Jesus died for the whole world. Every single uh, uh, tribe, person, you name it, he died for us all, every race, every color, every person. And so that's the beautiful thing that is, is mentioned here again, is the fact that our Lord's call is to everyone to come and be with him. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Well, this has been a, a wonderful octave, and again, it gives us an opportunity to uh, remember what happened to the disciples after the resurrection, their encounters with Jesus, the way that he ministers to them, the way that he, he in, uh, just allows them to begin to be comfortable with his resurrected body, and uh, it will, again, uh, culminate in some beautiful things that they will be doing upon his ascension. So uh, until tomorrow, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.